girdle that combines figure slimming power with complete freedom of action and comfort presents Ilka Chase, famous stage and screen star, fashion authority, and writer of best-selling novels in Fashion Magic. And here's the star of our show, Miss Ilka Chase. Hello. Our guests today are Johnny Andrews, a most personable young singer who has his own TV program, and I know he's an old friend of many of you. And our fashion star is a boon to womankind because a good suit is the staple of a good wardrobe and Mr. Vincent Coppola is the finest suit designer in the country. He is also a very intelligent and very charming person, as you will see. And in our uh, high uh, fashions for low finances spot, we have something sort of mysterious today. We have a goods, uh, actually, a square flat pieces of material which in some mystic way suddenly turn out to be bloomers and skirts and coats, all sorts of things. And they are shown in this uh, current issue of Life, which appears on the newsstands today. And it's a big scoop for us uh, because they are being shown for the first time on any uh, TV program. You know, I uh, hope very much uh, that on Sunday after you get home from church uh, that you will turn on uh, your television sets to this uh, station at which you're now looking because CBS is going to do some very fancy coverage uh, of the Easter parade here in New York. And a lot of CBS people, um, Madam here among them, uh, are going to be on hand to escort you up and down Fifth Avenue and, and into the smart hotels and we think you're going to have a very good gay time. Uh, and on Easter evening, I'm going to do something that I think is the nicest thing that happened to me. Um, I was asked if I would award the Antoinette uh, Terry uh, prizes for the American Theatre Wing. You know, these are the annual awards which the theatre itself uh, gives to those of its members whom it feels have contributed most uh, to their profession during the season. I think the party at the Waldorf should be very gay and glamorous, and I'm going to tell you all about it uh, when we meet again. And certainly for myself, it would be a great pleasure uh, to award these sort of metaphorical orchids to those who so well deserve them. Uh, Miss Chase. Yes, Norman. Uh, I have an orchid for you. For me, an mm -hmm. orchid? <laughs> Why, tell me. Don't it's, be so overcome, dear boy. Tell it's me It's from it. the 7th Annual Easter Orchid Promenade, Asbury Park Boardwalk. Well, for heaven's sake. And it says, Dear Miss Chase, we are happy to enclose herewith the coveted Blue Orchid Award in recognition of your outstanding smartness and good taste in attire during the past year. Sincerely, well, George Zuckerman. Well, now, isn't that nice of them? Here it is, a fine award from Asbury Park, the birthplace of my mother. I do hope she'll be pleased. <laughs> oh, well, that's really grand, Norman. Uh, Miss Chase, uh, you know, you've been giving fashion hints to all our oh, viewers. Oh, that I have, yeah. And uh, right now, I think it's time for Denny to give us some fashion hints. You do? Don't you want to give us any fashion hints at all? No, I don't think I will today. You don't think you will today? No. I think you're kind of mean. <laughs> oh, go on, give us a couple of fashion hints, Norm. Yes? Give us, I tell you, why don't you give us maybe a sort of household hint? All right, how about uh, what to do with your wash? Oh, I think that's a very practical one. All right, then, Jane, my assistant can help me. You know, the old-fashioned way was to tie things up with a clothespin. But oh, we don't sure. do that anymore. Oh, we, we don't do that. do away with clothespins, but we do use two ropes. Uh-huh. And everything in this, the secret is balance. Oh. Now, we'll find the center of the two ropes. Let's see. Right there. Would you uh, hold the wand in the ropes? Like this, yes. And we'll tie everything with a knot. Just like that. And would you hold the yeah. ends there? And you hold those ends. Now, as I said, balance is the secret. After you've washed your clothes, just take them and tie them onto the line. I one see. there. One over on this side. And this keeps them from falling off having to be washed all over again. I see. You're catching on to this, Jane? This looks to me like a very useful household hint, indeed. There we are. Now that they're tied on, we have the problem of theft. And so nobody can steal the clothes. We close them in like this. Could I have one rope? That's fine. And one this on this one? side. We tie a knot, securing the silks onto the rope. I now, see. would you hold one rope in each hand? I That's fine. This. Now, after the clothes are dry, all you have to do is take the wand, tap the knot like that, and would you pull on the rope the clothes come right off. <laughs> oh, no, that's really a very good household hit. But before I practice it myself, I think that now I would like to see what our Playtex fashion scout, uh, Denny Shade, has in store for us. My goodness, Denny, what are you done up for? 
I have brought some squares into our social circle. <laughs> you certainly have. And squares and rectangles. As you can see, I'm wearing a large rectangle with a hole for my head. Oh, incidentally, I'm wearing this with, with some uh, black matador hostess pants, and it's just the thing for them, too. It has uh, a hole for my head and uh, uh, smooth lines across the shoulder and all in one piece, you see, and then cuff links. To oh, form I see. Sleeves. Oh, the cufflinks form the sleeves. Mm -hmm. oh, that's sort of a good idea. I think idea. this is really okay. a, a very, very practical thing, as a matter of fact, to wear at the beach for uh, shoulders that don't want to burn, or, or say you wear it at home over clothes such as I'm wearing. I have on a black wool jersey top, and then these black velvet, very slim matador pants. Very slim they are. They demand the playtex <laughs> girdle underneath. I would say they them. really did, yes. <laughs> And well, tell uh, us about uh, these. Whose idea is this rather odd-looking garment, Well, these Danny? are a, a part of a fashion story that revolves around an interesting man by the name of Bernard Rudofsky. He doesn't like modern clothes. Oh, he doesn't? No, he huh, doesn't. He says they're, they're frustrating, they, they fit too tight, they just aren't comfortable. He wrote a book about it. Are clothes modern? He <laughs> says, no, they're not modern. Clothes should be functional and very comfortable. And then he took up the challenge in his own book. He designed a whole line of clothes that he says answer his point of view. And they mm -hmm. have some good points in their favor, as a matter of fact. One, they fit anyone. No uh, matter what your size, they fit. Yeah, well. Like, like, well, here, let me give you an example. Say with summer coming, a guest comes to dinner and uh, stays for the whole weekend. It's pretty nice to have some play clothes to give a guest to wear. Well, Denny, I could only say I think this is a most noble and generous point of view. But, you know, it works the other way, too. As supposing you have a sister and she commandeers your all-fit clothes, you have no comeback at all. <laughs> well, as a matter of fact, that brings up a good point. Say you do have a couple of girls of different ages in the house. They love clothes. Ordinarily, you have to buy them each a whole set of everything. In this case, one set, no matter <laughs> how different their size. Well, I think one great virtue of this, uh, they must uh, launder pretty easily, don't they? They launder like nothing at all because they're just squares of cloth. And furthermore, they knew that they use up none of that precious closet space because you just fold them up and put them away. On the shelf, huh? Well, that's good. Let's see some more. Now, I would like to challenge you. What do you think this is, Ilka? Well, I should say either it is a laundry bag or a pillow slip. Do you know what guess. it is? No. A pair of shorts. A pair of shorts. This is the bottom. See, it's sewn just in the center. Oh, I and this see. is the top. Well, for heaven, but to fit an elephant, then. Well, you just pull that string. You have to pull oh, strings in this. Yeah. <laughs> and small okay. enough for any waistline. Yes. I'd like I to have you see these on. Oh. We have a model oh, here goody. who's wearing them. Oh, goody. By it. all means, let's see them. Now, so, you see. By golly, they turn out to be pretty cute bloopers for the beach, don't they? They really let's are see cute. see here. Oh, yes, you see, it just ties there. Little knot. And you draw that in tight around your waist, huh? Aren't those cute? They're very and cute. And we have a skirt here that works on the same principle, as a matter of fact. <coughs> Big, isn't it? Yeah, it looks rather insulting to <laughs> our model. Do you mind stepping into this, dear? Big rectangle <laughs> of cloth. You're going to be surprised when you see how cute this is on you. Let's get into your sheet here. Let's see. Heave ho, my hearties. <laughs> Say, by golly, it comes out pretty well, doesn't it? A sort of super dirndl. Isn't that a cute thing? And you can put the gathers wherever you like. Oh, yes, of course. Either evenly distributed all around or very gay and comfortable. Wonderful as play clothes. However, I might say that uh, this is big. You know, it's, it's kind of bulky and very cute on a slim person, but I wouldn't recommend it for a, a heavy person, would you, Elka? Not too big. Not too big, no. In just a minute, we're going to see a dress built on the same principle. All right. Elka, did I tell you that the man who designed these things, Mr. Rudofsky, uh, designed a couple of buildings in Brazil? He did? Well, you know, I would believe you, Denny. I think this looks rather like a building, sort of like the United Nations building with the stripes going up and down instead of over. I might say it's a coat. Maybe I'll try it on, see how it Let's looks. See. What have we got to lose? Oh, yeah. Looks kind of Arab, as a matter of fact. I think it's kind of colorful mm -hmm. and cute. Would be great for the beach, really, to put over your bathing yeah, suit. Yeah, that it would. In fact, it's not bad over plain hostess clothes like this. Kind of gay mm -hmm. and colorful over dark things and with a belt to cinch it in at the waist, mm -hmm. perhaps. Mm -hmm. I think it's yeah. kind of cute. Well, it's, a, it's different. It's original, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> Let's yeah. take a look I at that I wonder if dress. I grill this ready with a dress. It's... Wow, sorry. <laughs> Built this along the same principles exactly. A colorful dress, which is made of a square. Oh, our exactly designer awning cheated. Striping, huh? uh, yes. Exactly. Our designer cheated. He added a rectangle for a collar. A oh, cute yeah. stand-up collar. Well, 
And does this uh, uh, take off your belt? Let's, well, let's see really how it's shaped. Let's show how this fits anybody. It certainly does. It's like that I ain't got no body dress that we showed a few weeks ago. <laughs> Do you remember? Exactly. Uh huh. Well, oh, incidentally, Elka, I wanted to mention that in the same issue in which these uh, clothes are shown in Life magazine, there is an ad about our gold seal tested Playtex pillow. That That's I'd like right, to Betty. Have I meant to mention it myself, and I think you ought to uh, read it because there's a lot of very interesting information. And I do want to tell you that if uh, you're amused by these play clothes and would like to know uh, where you can find them in your own communities, or if you'd like to make them yourself and have a little more information about them, uh, why, just uh, write to us and tell us that you'd like to get, get it, and we'll be very glad to help you all we can. Uh, you know, write to me, Ilka Chase, Grand Central Post Office, Box 727, New York City. Hi, Norman. Uh, it is Norman. Today, Miss Chase, I am Swami Jensen. Mine's red and wishes granted. Oh, good. I could do with a couple of million bucks. Please, madam, no flippancy. Wait. Wait, someone is wishing. I feel so... Ah, uh, you, you are wishing. You are wishing for... Wait, I must look into my wishing well. Ah, uh, yes. You are wishing for a slender new figure for spring. Very well, I'll just... Uh, excuse me, uh, Maestro, you uh, forgot uh, the Playtex magic wand? Oh, gee, thanks, Miss Chase. Well, let me check and make sure, yes. There's the Playtex girdle inside, and that's all set. Now, let's see. Where was I? Oh, yes. And uh, now, young lady, just close your eyes and concentrate. There, that's fine. And now, we shall grant your wishes. Slimmer, trimmer, glamour. <laughs> Oh, Norman, that's grand. You don't have to be a mind reader, though, to know that the Playtex girdle will give you a grand, grand new figure for spring. And uh, you can see how well it works. The only thing is, uh, be sure that the girdle vanishes under your dress uh, just as it has here. And you can see that Playtex fashion magic is lasting magic. Isn't that so, Julie? Yes, indeed, Miss Chase. And the way a Playtex girdle slims down your figure is a very special magic that every woman will love. You see, all Playtex girdles combine amazing figure slimming power with complete freedom of action. And the newest Playtex girdle, the Playtex Fabline girdle, has a wonderful cloud soft fabric lining fused to the smooth latex sheet. It's as light as airy as a cloud. So, if you want slimness, comfort, and freedom, whether your hip measurements are 32 or 48, ask for the Playtex Fabline Girdle. Only $5.95 and $6.95 at department stores and better specialty shops everywhere. Extra large size, slightly higher. I wouldn't want you to think that Playtex Girdles are only for small-sized women. They're not. Whether your hips measure 32 or 48, Playtex will slim you with wonderful freedom and comfort. So look for the shiny slim too and ask for Playtex. Uh -huh. I hear the strains of Johnny Andrews at the piano. It's a lovely day today. So whatever you got to do, you got a lovely day to do it in. That's true. And I hope Whatever you've got to do Is something that can be done But too For I'd really love to stay It's a lovely day today And whatever you've got to do I'd be so happy to be doing it with you And if you've got something that must be done And it can only be done by one there is nothing more to say Except it's a lovely day for saying It's a lovely day It's a lovely day It's a lovely day Johnny Andrews? Well, hi, Yoka, how You've are you? You've got a lovely, easy way of singing. Really oh, thank sweet. you. Thank Say, Johnny, um, I hear rumors. I hear tell you're going off on a cruise, a holiday oh, cruise. Yes, and that's only about 
Oh, eight or ten hours away from now. Oh, you're a lucky fella. But, Elka, that's the very reason I came here. I have a problem. What's that? Well, you know, Francie Lane and I have been singing together now for, oh, a couple of years. And, and uh, after doing that every day, we sort of get awfully closely associated. And when I said I wanted to go on a cruise, she sort of took exception. She said, well, it's a wonderful idea. We'll go on a cruise. Yeah. Said, no, no, no. I'm going alone. Oh, you said that to her? Yeah, so she got <laughs> mad. Yeah, I can well understand her point. Well, then she said, now, if you're going away on a cruise, then when you come back, you better be careful. And I sort of take that as meaning, well, maybe there'll be somebody in my place when I come back. Oh, I see. So there's the problem. You see, I want to get a little insurance for myself, and I'm looking for a, a new partner, just in case, you know? Oh, did you have me uh, as an insurance thought? Well, I, I did think of that. Now, I, I hear that you sing very well. Oh, no, Johnny. Uh, now, now no, Elka, I, I heard it. Now, come oh, on. Now, fess no, up. You know no. you do. No, I really don't. No, I, I don't sing at all, as a matter of fact. But very little, you know. I have a lot of confidence in you. I think you could do it. I'm sure you could. You do? Honestly? I'll be singing right along with you, so you won't have any problem there. Well... I'll tell you what. Suppose we just try a little something. Do you know, well, uh... I'm game. Cole Porter's It's Too Lovely? Oh, yes. I'm crazy about it. Well, mm -hmm. I'll tell you what. Now, just to make it easy for yourself, I'll start it. And when I nod my head, then you come right ahead and, and just be oh, part right. of the you, duet. You'll be with me now. Yeah, I'll be with I, you. I get to do my Yeah. Job. And when I, when I start to take it back from you, then you just stop and then I'll take over. Okay? Yes, right. It won't be hard. I'll start it now. The night is young, the skies are clear, and if you want to go walking, dear, it's delightful, it's, it's lovely, it's lovely, that's it, you got it. I understand the reason why you're sentimental, cause so am I. It's delightful, it's delicious, it's lovely, you can tell at a glance what a swell night this is. Romance you can hear, dear Mother Nature murmuring. Let yourself go, so please be sweet, my chickadee. When I kiss you, just say to me, It's delightful, it's delicious, it's delectable, it's delirious, it's a lemon, it's delicious, it's a lovely. Johnny, you're a beast. Oh, now don't be down the garden path and I don't get to do anything. Ilka, I thought that was your big chance and you took it all in stride. You're will be a success. We can't miss. You think, you think we're a I sensation? Think so. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> well, all right. I'll be bearing that in mind all the time that you're away, Johnny. And I hope you have a wonderful, fun trip and a lot of relaxation. Thank you very much, Ilk, and a very happy Easter to you. Thank you. Same to you. Uh, Miss Chase, yes? I wonder if you'd help me here. You were helping Johnny Anderson. Oh, yeah, don't wonderful. you think I helped him well? Yes, I'd be pleased Would to help you. Would you describe our next guest? I'm trying to create something out of paper. Mr. Vincent Coppola? Yes. Well, he is a delightful gentleman. I should say he's perhaps of uh, medium height. He has grayish hair, a very intelligent, pleasant face. Uh, and you know he's very famous for his suits. I think that will do it. Now, let's see. Yes, I believe we have... <laughs> we have indeed Vincent Coppola, and we also have him in person. Hello, Mr. Stage. Coppola. I'm Lovely. delighted to see you. Come and sit down here, won't you? you? Of course. You know, Mr. Coppola, I must tell you, you may not know this about me, but I'm practically the suit queen. Uh, I mean to say, uh, I'm, I'm no rival of yours. I'm not in business, you understand, but I love suits. I'd rather wear them than anything, so I'm very happy to meet the suit king. And I think an awful lot of women would be interested in knowing uh, how you really go about constructing one of your beautiful suits. Tell us a little of the tricks of your trade. Well, it's not a hard thing to construct the suit when you have the experience that I have. <laughs> <laughs> After all, I'm not a youngster. I've been in this game for a good many years and known the country well, and, and, well and, and it isn't so hard to design a suit for the American woman. You think an American woman has a good suit Oh, figure? I think they have the best figure in the world. Oh, I mean, that's and it's so... Nice to hear. And, and it's so easy for a designer to really design for American woman because there's a, there's a, a, a sh the shape, the foundation is there, and, and, uh, and, and it's really easy, you see. Sort of uh, long legs are a help, are they? Oh, I don't know. I think the American woman has the most beautiful legs in the world. <laughs> well, that's very nice of you. Well, uh, uh, Mr. Coppola, do you do uh, different suits for different parts of the country? Because I know you sell all over the United States, of course. Well, you have to know the country first, you see. I think if you know the, the, uh, the four corners of this country, I think you could design for the country, mm -hmm. you see. The suits that they wear in California, they're a little more casual than they would wear in Chicago. Chicago is mm -hmm. more conservative, and, and New York has a different 
a taste for yeah. soup. And then see? I suppose people who live in the country or lead a sort of country club life, it's a kind of a semi-sports thing well, too. Well, that, that's right? my meat, really. I just love a country clothes. I think the woman in a country clothes, she can relax it's so much better than a stiffed up suit. Yeah. You see? <laughs> yes, I, <laughs> you know, I, I know. I know. I think it's right really so too. much more charming mm. and relaxed in it. Uh, well, Mr. Coppola, uh, I think that your suits are not only, however, um, uh, semi-casual and sports, but you also uh, sometimes do a few suits uh, almost for evening, late afternoon and evening, don't you? Well, that's what we call the all-day suit into the night. Mm -hmm. Now, a suit like that is very much in want for, by a woman because uh, she makes so much use of it, and she don't have to go run off and change because underneath that jacket there's a little yeah, she's cut all, of a yeah. dress which uh, makes her uh, very well-dressed mm -hmm. at the cocktail. Well, uh, Mr. Coppola, I would say that probably in a suit, even more than in other kinds of clothes, the uh, figure underneath is of uh, greater importance, wouldn't you? There must be a trim, sleek, clean line. Of course, uh, uh, that is the foundation, especially for a designer who makes suits. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want any, stick, uh, any stiff bones or seams around the foundation of a woman. That's where the play tax comes in. You think a Playtex girdle is oh, good for I that Oh, I think purpose? so, because my daughter wears them. That's how I, I am so familiar with them. Good for your daughter. <laughs> she sounds to me like a wise girl. And uh, I tell you, Mr. Cole, I think maybe uh, it would be kind of nice now that we've talked so much about them. I know that the mouths must be watering of our lady listeners. How about seeing some of your suits? I huh? think you'd be delighted to see some of them. That's a nice fabric. What is that? This is a worsted silk suit. And, it, and the, it, the background is a blue with a white mm -hmm. speck in it. Yes, a tiny and you little can, white you speck. you can see the details in it, you see? That's very nice, and yes. Sort of a tiny little uh, slip pocket. Is that padded or is that right. just cut that way? No, they're not padded. They just, uh, they just fit all over the woman hip, you see. Which I is, see. Uh, oh, yes. It's beautifully it's tailored. It's just, it's just yes, molded it? that way, you see? Uh-huh. Oh, that, and the, the color is very nice, too. I think this Well, all uh, these details. details, you see, there's a suit now. You can yeah. have it and, and go to a cocktail in the evening, and uh, nothing, is, nothing is wrong with it. No, it couldn't yeah. be nicer. Thank you, dear. Let's see another one. Well, oh, this looks as though it were much uh, lighter weight fabric, is it? This is a shark skin. But this is something now that's wonderful for California. You yes. See? Because you haven't got too much on, and yet it looks like a suit. What, isn't it a suit? Of course not. It's a dress. Oh, for goodness sake. See? <laughs> <laughs> so it is. Well, that's very amusing. Yes, let's just walk down there with it, huh? Well, that's an awfully smart idea because it looks entirely like a suit from the front. Even if you're very ingenious, oh, yeah. I do think, Mr. Coppola, because we even have here, can you catch this detail? It, uh, uh, it's cut. Just turn there a little bit, will you? That's right. So it looks almost like a little vestige, doesn't it? That's so right. That's what underneath. gives the effect of a suit, mm -hmm. you see? That's a very smart idea. And it's really, yeah. uh, you get, get a lot of yeah. use of a, a dress like that. Thank you. Yeah. And I'd like to talk a little bit about this suit of mine. This is a navy blue worsted, is it? Uh, navy blue worsted suit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and the piping is made out of different colors of the skirt, which is plaid. Yes, the uh, pleated, pleated plaid skirt is. Yes. All around. Oh, that's a very nice one. That's a youthful color. Oh, here's another one coming up. Is that a tweed? That seems a... This is a tweed, and this is what I call a country mm. club suit. You see, that's, it's a wonderful suit to, to go to the country and, yes. and spend a whole day in it. These are see? sort of uh, uh, twins, in a sense, aren't uh, they? Yeah, the they're, they're, we call the relation material, you see, because <laughs> they have... Uh, that's, this, that's woven from the same yarn. Oh, and is the it only, really? And the only one who makes this is Linton from Scotland. Oh, I see. Is that exclusive with you? That's uh, exclusive yeah. with me. Fine. See? Button up yourself here, there. <laughs> <laughs> that's very smart. That's very soft and a sort of a casual, almost a kind of a sports suit, I think, that's right. country wear. Yeah. Well, they're very, see? very nice. They really are beautiful, Miss Capone. Yeah, you I love have to have one. a foundation yeah. for those suits, otherwise yes, you, you would need a good foundation. Look as good that as you do. <laughs> well, thank you very much for coming. It was right, a great pleasure. And you know, I do think it would be very nice if you said to our viewers uh, uh, how you feel that even if your suit is an expensive suit, it's cheap in the long run, isn't oh, that right? Oh, yes. And uh, don't forget that they're very ageless. Clothes. Yes, they are indeed. They're <laughs> really Goodbye. classic clothes. Goodbye. I could look at Mr. Vincent Coppola's suits all day long. They're really beautifully made. Oh, but something tells me we're about to go into one of our stirring daytime dramas. Today's drama is called, Should a Daughter Tell Her Mother? 
Hi, Mom. What's up for tonight? Oh, your father and I are going to the club for dinner and dancing as soon as he gets home. Well, it sounds dreamy, but why the long face? I just hate the thought of fighting my way into that blankety-black girdle. Well, if you won't listen to me. Honestly, Mom, why don't you get yourself a Playtex girdle and start living? Like yours? With my figure? With anybody's figure. Look, don't you read the ads? Hmm. A famous designer, eh? And he's not the only one. Practically all the big designers make with the Playtex. So if you won't take my advice, take a designer's advice. And after all, Mom, what have you got to lose except a few inches? Well, but I don't have time to get a Playtex girdle for tonight. No excuses. I'll get it for you. But I have to be fitted, not with Playtex. Now, just hold still. Waist, hip measurements, Playtex does the rest. Hmm, waist 28, hips 39. Is that all there is to it? I'll be back in a flash with your new figure. Yes, it's that easy to buy a Playtex girdle. You just give the sales girl your waist and hip measurements, and Playtex does the rest. You don't even have to take the Playtex girdle out of its shiny, slim tube. Oh, and Mom, Playtex girdles are not only wonderfully easy to buy, they're wonderfully easy to wear. You see, a Playtex girdle solves all your figure problems. Hi, baby. I suppose your mother is hours from being ready. Oh, I wouldn't say that. Oh, she wouldn't, huh? Well, I... Well, Martha, what got into you? Oh, it isn't what got into me, but what I got into. And I feel just wonderful. Yes, when you wear a Playtex girdle, you'll feel as free as this famous girl in the Playtex high-speed picture. For Playtex is the one girdle that combines amazing figure-slimming power with complete comfort and freedom of action. It's made of pure liquid latex without a single seam, stitch, or bone. And remember, Playtex girdles Wash in seconds, dry in a flash. So don't wait. Get your Playtex girdle now at department stores and better specialty shops everywhere. Choose from the world's most popular girdles. The famous Playtex living girdle, only $3.95 and $4.95. The sensational Playtex pink ice girdle, $4.95 and $5.95 and the revolutionary new Playtex Fabline girdle, the newest Playtex girdle with fabric next to your skin, only $5.95 and $6.95. So look for these shiny, slim Playtex tubes. Ask for Playtex, the largest selling girdles in the world. Uh, the next time we'll have Barbara Moser to sing for us at a brand new fashion film from Paris. Uh, and you know in that Easter parade coverage that I told you about, we're going to be interviewing and introducing uh, celebrities and others who emerge dressed to the teeth from St. Patrick's, St. Thomas's, St. Bartholomew's. Those uh, churches are grouped in the famous postal zone, New York 22, which by curious coincidence uh, is the locale and title of my uh, new novel. I don't know that the um, leading characters, the good years, will be at church, but I hope they will drop in later uh, to the terrace room of the Plaza Hotel uh, where I am going to be stationed. And we think that a great many smart New Yorkers will come in there for luncheon uh, after Easter services. So I do hope you're all going to be with us because I think we're going to have a gay good time and it'll be a lot of fun. And I certainly hope you're going to be with us on our own program uh, looking slimmer, trimmer, and more comfortable in your Playtex girdles. Goodbye. Fashion Magic, starring the famous Ilka Chase, is brought to you by Playtex, the largest selling girdles in the world. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.